The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that all the hardware goes through the holes open. So that's called a deep nut, and I'm making sure it goes in that half inch hole. Here's the harness. It has to be made properly, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Take off all the nuts, and here I'm showing how I'm using the McGill forceps for reaching deep inside. And these are the Klopman PAF style pickups. And I wrote that, uh, looks like upside down, oops. Here's the harness, you can see it's one continuous wire basically. And the um, the ground cable is soldered on the side and that helps them fit through. So I'm just placing them where they go and here I'm showing you the pickup wires and how I connect the pigtails. The hot goes to hot and the grounded cable gets soldered together. Here I'm just twisting them and getting them out of the way. Looks like I'm going to get something. Well, just protecting the surface. So I'm going to be setting a lot of tools on it and uh, just, you know, make sure nothing scratches it. This is a 1958 ES-335 and uh, it's got a restoration by me. Here I'm showing you the uh, string I use to pull through the pots. It really helps. It's still tricky, but it, it really helps. I, I don't use the fish tank uh, tubing. This right here is uh, what I would call an obturator, which is a medical term, but basically it just pulls it through. So now I'm ready to put these in. And they really only go in one way. You can see this way doesn't go in. This way does. So you have to point them correctly. And I, they go in shaft first, down. And then you got to flip them around once they're inside. And here I'm putting them in. You can see it's a very tight fit. And there's the correct way. And I put uh, both of the, uh, looks like uh, the, the neck pickup controls in. And I'm just about to push them to the side. And then I realize, oh, I forgot to tie the string onto it. So I'm going to pull them back out, tie that string. It's a bit of a struggle. I think it's a lot easier if you have long fingers and uh, skinny hands, which I don't have. I can't even get my pinky in that F hole. So I'm tying the string on now. And then you use the, push them in, place them in the way they, way they go. And then you take your Miguel forcep and you go in and you can see it coming out the hole with the pliers. Just uh, grab the string and pull it through. And that way it guides it to exactly where it needs to go. 
And now I'm just going to push all the rest of them in. And I will show you a little bit more later on. Okay, now I'm a little further along here, and you can see that I've got all the pots connected. And uh, what I'm showing here is I'm taking my caliper and I'm measuring the uh, jack because I don't want it to stick out too far. Uh, so I, I need to know basically how many washers to stack underneath. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to cut this. So we're a little further along here in time. And uh, I am having a little trouble with pulling the jack up into the hole. It's catching on something inside there. So I'm having a little trouble. I've, I've done this probably a hundred times. And a couple times it just goes right in, but most of the time there's always something going on. Something catching. So I'm looking inside and I have mirrors and stuff that help. And uh, again, I'm trying not to get frustrated. Just taking my time. So I'm going to cut the video and go a little forward here. Okay, this is further down, uh, and I'm noticing here that, wouldn't you know it, but the capacitor came off of the tone, and so I'm committed to fixing that, of course. So I'm just going to pull these pots of, actually this is the, this is the bridge. So I'm pulling these back out so that I can get my soldering iron and try to do it without putting a hole in my lacquer. So I'm going to stop the video and, and maybe show a little of that later. One of the tricky things here was that there was solder in the hole of the pot lug. So I had to try to drill it out or heat it up or something so <clears throat> kind of a one of the, another problem that you have to overcome see I got that drill bit there and I'm actually that's that's just a little poker a carbide tipped poker and I'm trying to open that hole up So I have my soldering iron trying not to touch the lacquer and uh, and there I go just put a little, that's all it takes, just a tiny tiny touch. So now I have the pigtail and the pickup wire connected. Just twist the positive and uh, put a little solder on it. Use a heat sink like I got there. And uh, connect uh, just just a little solder on the cable, braided cable, and uh, that will ground it. And then I'll do the same thing with the other one, which uh, is uh, that looks like I'm doing the neck. And then I'll check it.